Little Grizz, it looks like you're blocking a hat. Oh, yeah. I'm having a slight, uh, on this one. And what would that be? Well, <clears throat> I think I ain't gonna have enough money. I might have. I don't know. Hmm. I might be having to go get another body. <laughs> That's the one that I had on the shelf. Uh-huh. Well, let me put it like this. I'm going to pull some more, all right? Okay. And we do have an order for a French bow coming up also. Well, that might be what this is going to be. So, this, that's what I'm making. That's what it is, a French bow. Got it. Yeah. We got it. We're making a French bow. We've actually had somebody for years wanting to see some work on a French bow. So here we go. I don't remember his name. I don't remember who it was that's been asking, but there's somebody that has... Well, we, it could be a field cavalry hat. Don't give up. Okay. So it depends on the width here. And right now... For some reason, it's... There we go. I'm getting really dark casting in my photo today. No, this was an 18-inch body. Yes. Yeah. It was in with a I will try just to see. Now, Nope. Okay. Oh, goodness. I did it again, folks. I sat on the string. He keeps leaving it where I sit. No matter where you sit. You no, know, there's only one place in here I can sit. That's the desk. In here, there's only one place I can sit. Sir, And you see there's the adding the water again to make sure you get a good tight pull of the felt and a crisp form to our H block. Oh, look at, we are live here, and we have AM Hats joining us. All right. What started off as a cavalry hat will now be a French bow. Uh, you have it, folks. You finally are seeing the blocking of a French bow. Yeah, so 
And remember, as we talked about yesterday, we have to be careful not to work the string down into the groove below the level of the shim. Mm -hmm. See, this is one inch and seven and a quarter. Yep. yep. And I'm blocking only seven and eight blocks. And we also have our friend in Romania, Constantin, watching us, joining us. So we we are literally around the world out of New Amelo live at this moment. We are blocking a French bow. I see these irons ain't really hot. Yeah, I was gonna comment on that. Well, yeah, that's the reason. Uh, no, Grizz knows his stove quite well, and he knows that the irons are not hot right now. I mean, they're hot enough to produce steam, but they're. You have to be very careful not to scorch your felt. No. No, on the gas stove over there now. That's why I got control over this wood, with this wood stove. Uh huh. Yes, we have to explain that to folks that he's loving with the weather cooling back down because with the wood stove, he has much better control of the heat than with the gas stove. And most people would say that's impossible, but. When someone has spent as many years working on the wood stove, that is the case. Okay. And yes, folks, lots of times we do have music blasting, but we have had to quit putting music in the background with our videos. First of all, because we don't have good sound and you can't hear us. And second of all, for copyright issues. So we would love... To have some good jams okay. blasting. We got a cavalry hat on this side. <laughs> What's that side? <laughs> we got a cavalry hat on one right side yeah. and a French bow right on the here. other. Yeah, right here we got. <laughs> then it starts getting down. Yeah. Now, right there is still, but it ain't got to trim it though. So yeah. So you get that now. This side here, I need to pull it out to make a French bow. <laughs> Ooh, so that side there we have a yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a Shriners. What is it? The, a Fez on yeah, that yeah. side. Fez on this side. Calvary hat on that side. French bow right in here. <laughs> yeah. You can make all kind of hats. Yep, this is really a record for us out of our Facebook Lives because we've often had our visitors from our friends from around the world watch at later dates. But to have literally around the world watching us, joined with us, it's quite fascinating. We have Malaysia and I believe it's Romania joining us at the moment. Okay, now. Now what do we have? Now are we French bow all the way around? French bow all the way around. I have to, you know, naturally I got to trim it. Yep. But that's, we, we had a fez, a little bit of fez. We had a fancy fez? Because, like I said, you want to leave enough body when you trim it to get in. Okay, know, I can't see your finger, so. Right in here. Uh-huh. See, it's wide back here. That's okay. Yeah. But right so what here. you're saying is you cannot trim all the way out to the edge. Not you have to be in. It'll start, it'll start wobbling, you know. Yes. And if you do that, then you'll have a gap. In it. So. Oh, and our friend Constantin, he says he loves your hats, that you are the best hat maker. All right. So that's it for that. A French bow, which we will be back to do the calorie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, tell everybody bye. Bye.